fresh off the press, people. I know, it just dropped yesterday, but I've been bumping this new album a lot. So, with that being said, let's get into this review for Enjoy Sessions with a Nasty Old Tree. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Dylan, but most of y'all just call me Palm. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I do news, reviews, interviews, and bring you the dopest in underground music. And you can check it out on prettyawesomelitmusic.com and make sure you stay tapped in on social media. So, who is Enjoy? Wyatt Shears, who's half of the band The Garden with his twin brother Fletcher, also goes under the name Enjoy when he does his solo projects. So he has a few solo projects under his belt. The last one was Small Car, Big Wheels that dropped back in 2018. So this year he just came out with Sessions with a Naughty Old Tree. And what I love about this album is that it's aggressive alternative. There's lots of synths. There's lots of tempo changes that totally switch the song from one genre of music to another. And it's like dope alt rock but like laid back and you can dance to it this there's a lot going on that you should be paying attention to in here old tree imply i'm not sure does wyatt smoke weed i'm not sure either but who knows who cares anyway off the dribble first track and the single vape smoke love this song because there's just such a groove to it i love those keys and there's a very electronic nature about this song and very much of the album, but this just sets the tone right because this is kind of like that type of indie alternative that you could like play at a house party in the hood. It's actually kind of sort of reminds me of like early NERD shit. So love that track a lot. Um, Under the Winking Coconut Tree featuring Divino Nino. Um, I actually wasn't feeling that one. However, my collections, I really like enjoy singing on that one. It's a cool vibe all throughout. And it's, you know, you could like kind of swing and kick your feet too. I don't know. Oh, one of my favorite songs on here, the fourth track. Uh, man, like damn, because like that's when why it's just not playing around. It's like back the fuck up off me. Now the percussion on the title track, Nasty Old Tree is funky like i like how he switches from all these different type of drum patterns and takes like influence from like jungle music very very interesting a lot of layers to this the next track southern story featuring cowgirl clue really dope duet i love male and female duets those are always fire um all the way back to olympia washington it's like those lyrics are very simple yet like they still sit with you i don't know exactly why it's called southern story maybe because orange county where why it's from is south of olympia washington and cowgirl clue is from texas maybe that has something to do with it now generic tree kind of sounded a little like a filler track just because it's so similar to nasty old tree but given that they're both about trees i'm can only imagine that you know they're supposed to be that way but fold you up like a blanket featuring the drums fire it's just there's something so unique about this you know and i really like the verse that the dude from the drums laid down it's fire now one of my favorite songs off here is the closing track, The Scariest House I've Ever Seen. I love that synth all throughout. I love all the 808s. And that G-Funk tempo switch at the end is just something else, man. Like, I'm telling you, Enjoy and Puzzle are really on some next level shit. To be honest with you, that this collective of musicians, I'm talking about The Garden, Slater, Cowgirl Clue, they're really some of the most underrated talent I think is out there. Like I really view Vada Vada as the future of alternative and holding some of the most brightest potential having musicians out right now. So with that being said, man, enjoy sessions with a nasty old tree, you know, really hit all the right bases for me. And I'm feeling this one, definitely one of my favorite alternative albums to drop this year. So what'd you think? I know I got a lot of Vada Vada fans in the palm tree. So let me know. Tap in. Peace. Love. Palm.